Marvin lived in a big city. He lived alone in a small apartment. He worked from home for a computer company. He didn't go out. Every week he ordered his food from a big supermarket. The supermarket delivered the food to his house. He bought his clothes and everything else he needed on the internet. He didn't have friends. His family lived in another city and he hadn't talked to them for a long time. He never saw his neighbors. Every day he worked on his computer near the window. He watched the people in cars and buses far below his apartment. Marvin liked his life. I don't like people. I don't like talking and laughing in parties. I hate noise. My life is perfect for me, he thought. One morning in February, Marvin ate breakfast and sat down at his computer with a big cup of coffee. He looked at the date. February 11th. It's my birthday, he thought. He looked at his email inbox. There were messages from his mother, his sister, and a cousin. He didn't open them. Marvin's birthday was not a good day. Another email was from the company he worked for. It was closing down. At the end of February, Marvin would have no job. Then he heard the doorbell. It must be those clothes I ordered online, he thought. They came quickly. I expected them to come next week. He went to the door and opened it. Marvin was surprised. It was the manager of the apartment building. Good morning, he said. I am sorry, but I have bad news for you. He gave Marvin a letter and went away. Marvin went back to his living room and opened the letter. The letter said, this apartment building will be pulled down. You have to leave the apartment by the end of March. Marvin did no work that day. He looked at his computer for a long time. My perfect life is finished. I have to change everything, my job, my apartment. Then he had an idea. I have a lot of money in the bank. I can do something different. What would I like to do? I want to live in a very quiet place with no people. I want to live alone. Maybe I could be a farmer. But I don't like animals. Maybe I could be a fruit farmer. Trees are quiet, and they don't talk. Three days later, Marvin bought a very small farm in Oregon. It was 20 miles from the nearest town. It was a cherry farm. I don't know anything about growing cherries, but I can learn from the internet. Marvin bought a car. He packed up his computers and his clothes and drove to Oregon to start his new life. The little farm was very pretty. There was a long driveway from the road. The house was small and old but Marvin liked it. But country life was very difficult for Marvin. He had always lived in a city. The supermarket in the nearest town did not do home deliveries. Marvin had to drive to town and go shopping. His new car was good for the city, but it was not good for country roads. The internet connection was not good. Sometimes Marvin could connect to the internet, and sometimes he couldn't. This made him very angry. 
The worst thing was the people. They were so friendly. When he arrived at his farm, cars drove up to the house. The people knocked on the door. They called to him. Marvin didn't answer. They left welcome gifts of cookies and pies. They left notes inviting him to a welcome party, a barbecue, and a school festival. When he drove to town, everyone he passed waved to him. The people in the gas station and the supermarket wanted to talk to him. People offered to help him with his farm. Marvin hated it. He didn't answer them. At the end of March, the cherry blossoms came. His trees were so beautiful. When his internet was working, Marvin studied hard. He thought he knew everything about being a cherry farmer. Then, the first week in April, there was a terrible storm. The wind was very strong and it rained and rained. Trees fell down and Marvin could not drive his car down to the road. He had no electricity. His cherry trees did not look beautiful. All the blossoms had blown away in the wind. Then the wind took half the roof off his house. The rain was coming into the house. Marvin tried to cover his computer with a blanket. He was cold and very sad. I used all my money to come here. I have lost everything, he thought. He put on a raincoat and wrapped a wet blanket around himself. Suddenly, for the first time, Marvin felt lonely. Finally, the wind and rain stopped. It was cold and very quiet. I don't like silence anymore, he thought. Suddenly, there was a lot of noise outside his house. The man from the gas station was there with a big truck. There were small trucks and a tractor too. About 20 people were talking, laughing and shouting. They were taking big sheets of plastic and ladders from the trucks. The tractor was pulling the trees away from his driveway. Other men were climbing onto his roof with the sheets of plastic. They were covering the holes. Some women with small children came into the house. They were carrying a camping stove and boxes of food. They went into Marvin's kitchen, and after a while, he could smell coffee. Marvin could not believe it. Why are these people doing this for me? I was so unfriendly. I was very rude. Why are they so kind? He sat and watched. In a very short time, everything was finished. The trees were gone from the driveway. The hole in the roof was closed. Everyone crowded into the house. There was delicious food on the table. There was coffee and beer. Everyone was talking. It was a party. Finally, Marvin could say something. Thank you. Thank you. I was so rude and unfriendly. Why did you come and help me so much? One of the older men smiled. It was a bad storm and you had bad luck. Of course we helped you. It's what we do in the country. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe for more videos, press the bell icon and select all to get notifications.